guys, welcome to another nail look. Today I will be doing a set of press-on nails for my right hand. I've mentioned a couple times before how hard it is for me to do my right hand, so I keep trying to come up with new ways that I can get a full set. Today I'll be doing this set of press-on nails that I saw on Instagram. I think they were really, really pretty. I'm going to leave credit to the original nail tech down in my description and on my Instagram. So let's get started with recreating this nail look. I've already prepped and glued this nail to my nail holder and now I'm just going to file off the little nub on the free edge. Today I want to keep my nails really really long because this um, glitter glass inlay uh, requires you to have long nails. I'm going to take my Mia Secret Cover Pink Acrylic Powder which is literally my favorite pink acrylic. I'm just gonna place this at the top of the nail like so, and I'm not going to blend it out, but I'm just gonna let it sit there and shape it how I need it to be. Now cleaning this up is going to make it easier for me to get this um, really crisp free edge for my glitter inlay. Also it means less filing later on so we are all for that. You don't want to finish the look and then see it be crooked or anything. Okay, now I'm just going to use my nail file to crispen up this free edge. Now that we're done filing that, I'm just going to take my Mia Secret Clear Acrylic Powder and I'm just going to put down a very, very, very thin layer of this. And I'm just going to take these glitters. I'm going to be using this blue, this um, multicolor, and some of this blue, and a little bit of pink to create the glass inlay. I'm going to create a base for my glitter. Now I want this to be really thin so that we can encapsulate as much as we want and then clear coat it. You don't want this to be too thick. Like that looks about good. Now I'm going to quickly add the glitter to that that I want. I'm going to take some of this blue, spread it out. Now this is really your design so you can add in as many colors as you want but you don't want to go too overboard so that it covers the entire clear part of it. Now the only thing you want to be careful with here is that your glitter stays in the square that you want to be the glass inlay because otherwise when you go to file you'll have to file into the glitter. I also want to add some light pink to this. Now you want to bring that glitter right up to the pink free edge, but you don't want it to go over. Okay, now that I'm done with my glitter inlay, I'm going to quickly go over and encapsulate this. Now you want to do this carefully because this is when you're going to be creating the inlay. So you only want to take the glitter powder up. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna clean up the free edge to leave room for our next layer, which is gonna be pink, obviously. So you wanna just push this back as much as you can. I want this edge to be nice and crisp, so it's easy to see the contrast. And now we're just gonna wait for this to dry. Okay, now that this acrylic is dry, I'm just gonna go over and again clean up the free edge and make it super, super crisp. Once that's ready, I'm just gonna go and get some more pink acrylic and I am going to finish the rest of the nail. Now you don't have to worry if it goes over your application or anything because we're gonna file this down in a minute anyway. That looks perfectly even. I'm just gonna clean up the sidewalls a little bit. All right, now that that is ready, I'm gonna go in with my e-file and the hard 180 grit barrel. You wanna to try to make this as smooth as possible and then you can go over this in clear acrylic and really make it perfect. Okay guys, now that I've filed this down as much as I wanted to, I'm gonna take some clear acrylic and clear cap this whole nail. And that will fill in any of the creases that I might have left and also give me a better shape for the nail. All right, once I look down the barrel and that looks good to me, I'm gonna let this dry. All right, you guys, now we're gonna go over and file the entire nail once again. As you can see, all of the creases have now been covered, so now it is a seamless transition. All right, now that I'm done filing this nail, I have prepped it and buffed it for top coat and we will be getting back to this after we have finished all the rest of the nails for top coat. Now I've primed all of my nails and I'm ready to finish off this set. I'm gonna take my ring finger and I'm going to cover this completely in gemstones. Now I'm gonna take my wax pencil and my no wipe top coat and I'm going to apply this generously.
Alright you guys, um, so this is the design that I decided to do on this nail. I think it looks really cute. I'm just going to cure this and then I'll come back and paint the side. For the rest of these nails, I'm going to be using this pink as a base coat and I'm going to be mixing these three glitter gels to create a glitter ombre. So let's get started. Okay, now I'm just going to take these nails and apply a glitter ombre to them. Alright, now while those cure, I am just going to apply pink very carefully to this nail as well. Alright, now I think that looks really cute. I'm going to cure this and take out the rest of my nails. Okay, I'm going to be doing a glitter ombre on the rest of these. So I'm just going to take some glitter and apply it like so. Now I'm just going to take some of these little iridescent stars and sprinkle them on top of where I just put the glitter. I'm just going to cure these for 60 seconds and then we can top coat them. Alright you guys, now it's time for the reveal shot of our encapsulated nail. Let's see how this turned out. Alright you guys, I'm just going to add some stones to these nails. Now I'm going to let these cure for 60 seconds and then we'll be right back. Alright you guys, that is the finished set. I went back and added this gold strip to um, the edges of this inlay and I think it really makes a huge difference. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.